Hi, welcome to the Combworks on this lovely sunny day. I am Sharon, I'm the general manager, and um, I will be taking you over the Combworks, showing you the studios. Will be a silver studio that I'll be showing you. The common area, laundry, courtyard, and I'll be able to ans answer any questions that you may have. So If there is anything that you want to ask, please feel free to, to ask me. I will try and ask, help you as much as I possibly can. We'll just wait for everyone else to join us. Just let's see if I can turn. sunshine. As you can see, it's beautiful skies in Aberdeen today. Not raining, which is a good sign. As you can see, we are on George Street. There is a co-op just across the road there. And then just at the end of that street, you turn to your left and you will find a big Lidl which is very popular with the students. And here we are entering the Combworks. Okay, so, sorry about that. We have the door open. So this is our main reception area where, we, where you will find myself. You will also find Denise, who is my assistant manager. And there is also Mike, who is our maintenance. Obviously, with um, COVID happening at the moment, it's just me. We also have um, a table here where you can put any comments in a suggestion box. This is also where we have um, any grab-and-go breakfasts, lunches, anything. We normally pop that here. There is a printer here that you, the students can use. It is free. Um, all we ask is if you want to use it, you can either email myself or Denise, or you can take down a USB stick and you can print away quite happily. We can, of course, show you. Um, 24 hours, no, it's not, reception is not um, open 24 hours. We are open from 8 till 6. Then after that, we have out of hours security which you can contact. We also have two resident assistants that can assist you with any lockouts, etc. Um, so we have, we have our TV on, so um, it is available to be changed as well. We have a nice seating area here. At the moment, we're not collecting packages, um, but I'm not sure if that will change. Yes, you can print for free. There is also a coffee machine here, um, so you can help yourself to coffee. The coffee is free, as you can see, it's very popular with the students. Whichever studio you decide to book, there is mailboxes here, so it goes by your room number, and that is where we would put your mail, letters, from universities, doctors, etc. Parcels at the moment, as I, as I said, we are collect. We are not collecting at the moment, but that might change. This is our common. It is nice, and I believe the coffee is very nice too. I don't drink coffee, 
but the students say it's lovely. This is our common area. We do have a student that's down here at the moment speaking to his family. So there's a TV there, again, which can be switched on. There's also a gas fire, which can be put on at, um, in the evening time. More smallly used in the winter, not at the moment. We also have some nice sofas here. You just And we have a foosball table that you can use. Some chairs that you can sit at the window or you can just stretch out on the sofas. Your parents can stay for as long as you like. Uh, we, we just normally ask that you give us notice. We have a badminton or ping pong table where we, which is used a lot. Students seem to like it. And there's another sofa over there in the corner. These blinds can go down, so you can have more privacy if you want to have a movie night. We do that often as well. We'll just take you over here. This is our lovely crest that we got when the built with the building. We've only been open since 2018, so I think we're doing pretty well. We have Wii games, so you can have can play on the Wii. There's Guitar Hero, if you like a bit of Guitar Hero. We have books. I'll just turn you around here. Just so you see, we also have a tea... A bookshelf, that's the word, that has um, books, it has games, and you're more than welcome to use them. We just kindly ask that you put, put everything back so that other students can use them. Okay, so this is one of the study areas. So this is an open plan study area. It's very popular with students. We will be looking at having a maximum of maybe two people studying um, in these rooms, but at the moment that's, um, we don't have many students, so it's, uh, it's available. We have um, a closed study room, which obviously somebody's using at the moment, so we can't really go in. but. Um, this one, the closed room, we do ask that you reserve this st study area. We would pop, put that onto our Facebook group and also to um, a notice would go on the door to say that the study room is booked. Um, we normally, so we can do that. So you can have it as a meeting room. Um, yes, if you let me know the time and the date, we can sort that for you. I'll take you outside into our lovely courtyard while the sun is shining. We have some outdoor seats that you can sit down, which are maybe a little bit more comfortable than the benches that you can sit at. The courtyard goes all the way around the back. I'll just take you since it's nice and I can uh, catch some sun. We have a bicycle store there so if you have a bike you can store it in there. This is the outside yard yes and it's fully closed. No one can get in here as you can see. We did have uh, one of our students running a marathon for charity. That's why there's banners up. He raised quite a lot of money for the NHS. Very worthwhile cause. There's more bushes, uh, benches there and we've got some nice bushes. So as you can see it goes all the way round. I'll just take you and I'll get to enjoy some sun as well. There we go. As you can see it's all fenced in. So nobody can get in. And there we go. Some more benches down here. 
Oh wow, it's very warm today, which is nice. There we go. And I'll just take you back. And then I'll show you the laundry room next. Not very exciting, but we all need to wash our clothes. The temperature at the moment, it's probably about 18 degrees. Not very hot, but hot for Aberdeen. Okay. This takes us back into the comb works. Go. So, here is our laundry room. Light comes automatically. So in the laundry room, you've got two washing machines. The cost of a wash is £3.10 for a wash and it is £1.70 to dry. These are all by, managed by circuit. You can download the app and upload funds that way or you can get a laundry card from us and then you do and then you just top up your laundry card. There is also irons and ironing boards in the laundry room that you are free to use. We just ask that you take these back once you're finished. Okay so now I'm going to take you to see one of our silver studios. We only have silver studios available. We have a few um, gold studios available but at the moment I can't show you them because these are all they're all occupied yes there is a lift I will show you where the lift is there we go so when you come through the main door so I've kept it open for today's purpose but you need to use a fob which is there and that will get you into this in here and there is the lift is here. I'm going to take the stairs for today because I don't want to lose connection. So I'll just take you through here. We have our cleaner who's busy cleaning. One second. Ava, can you switch on? Okay. So here we go. I'll just take you up this way. So this takes you, as you can see, it will show you where we're going. So we're going to go to the second floor via the stairs. Hopefully this thing will go well. It's good exercise for me. The cleaner is in every day and also at the weekend. Whew. She doesn't clean studios, just common area. The students are responsible for the, their own studios. So here we are on the second floor. So here you go. And I'll take you along to the studio. So we're going into Studio 222, which is a silver studio. There we go. So this is a silver studio with a courtyard view. As you can see, it's quite a nice view. This window here. There's the courtyard down there. So this is your bed area. 
So this is a double bed. We provide mattress, uh, mattress protectors in all our mattresses to make sure that they stay clean once the room has been cleaned. There is under bed storage when you lift up the mattress. There is also um, two shelves here, if you can see that. Also a small cupboard with a door there. Oh, just one second. It's not letting up. One second. There you go. And this is a silver. And as you can see, when you open up here, you've got a nice deep cupboard there where you can store some items. Sorry. There is also a TV on all in all the studios. They are smart TVs, so they have YouTube, Netflix, Amazon. Yes, there's the carpet. So it's carpeted at the bed area where your desk and chair is. We also have if I just pop this light on so you can see, we've got some more light there under, I don't know if you can, there you go. So you can see the, um, so you can see a little bit more if it's a little bit dark. And in the kitchen area, there is wood. There you go. And you also have a table and chair for sitting at for having your your dinners there is yes floor to ceiling windows for all room types the same with the the roller blinds the roller blinds go all the way down to the ground and they are blackout blinds so you don't see much you've got a full length mirror in your studio as well. You also have a nice size wardrobe. I'll just open the doors for you so you can see inside. There we go. So as you can see, you have a shelf and hanging rail. The window, yes, the window can open. It only gets to open so far due to um, due to legislation, I'm afraid. But it does. The window does open. You also have two good sized drawers in your wardrobe. So that's that's the size of your your drawer. Good sized drawer. Although I know some uh, some girls might need some more because we do like our clothes. Go and you've also got your bookshelf at the back of your bed as well. Um, I'll show you how far the window can be opened. So it is on a restrictor, so we're on the second floor. So that's how far the window can be opened. Still lets in some, so it still lets in air. So I'll just close that. There we go. So this is your kitchen area, where you have a two ring hob, an extractor hood, and then you've got your combi micro grill. There is instructions and we will be doing a video on how to work these. I am sorry, it's a bit bloody there. So the hobs are worked by we have a timer here, which we press to activate the hob. The hob beeps. We press this button here, we we'll press here. Oh, I think I switched that off. Didn't. There we go, beeped. Flash is red and it comes on. And you can pick whichever ring you want to go on. This is the top one. And just automatically goes to five, goes red. And then it's on. The timer's there purely for safety reasons. 
it will go off if it's left if your ring your cooking is left unattended it will automatically switch off we always ask that you have your extractor hood on at all times whilst cooking and your door open and try not to cook at a high heat just switch that off go we also have kettle and toasters they are all provided as well if the kettle or toaster does break or stops working we will not be replacing these items also have green recycle bin for your food waste we're big on recycling there's two cupboards here i'll just open this one here for you so that's one cupboard that you can put your food into and then i'll just open up the other one there's the other one, so you can put more food in there. And there's more cupboards under here. So there's this one here under the sink. So it's a good size maybe for cleaning items. You also have a drawer where you will find all your, well, you'll find instructions for the items. There is another cupboard here, as you can see, it's good size again. And this one here, it's not a cupboard, it's our fridge, it's your fridge. So you've got your two door storage there for milk and juice, etc. Your shelves for your other food, and then you have your ice box freezer here for some frozen for your freezing ice, frozen items and then this is your micro grill combi there we go and then we have oops, another drawer here which, which is quite deep which might be good for pots and pans etc. You also have a bin which you'll have to supply your own black bags with for. And then I'll show you the um, the ensuite now. It's your door. So this is the door to your ensuite. I'll just open this door here. So let me just focus. So this is your own private bathroom. This is your shower. Um, on the we shelf. So this is there. So as you can see, it's um, your shower is there, and then you come out of your shower onto your floor there. Yes, the hot and cold water is separate. All you do is decide which one you want to go. You also have a mirror. You've got two mirrors here in your bathroom. It's your toilet there, and you have a shelf, and also above the shelf is cupboard where you can store toiletries, toilet roll etc which is quite a, a nice size. I will show you the tap. So, so here we have the hot water so if you want hot water you would turn it to your left. If you want cold water you would turn it to your right. If you want it to be a bit of both maybe a little bit in the middle and that's where you would you could possibly have have maybe just warmish water to so save burning yourself. You have a towel rail there for holding your towels and also toilet roll holder for toilet roll. And just come out. The lights in the bathroom, they are PIR lights, so they go on as soon as the door is opened and then they will go off after five minutes. 
The same with the fan. The fan is only on when there's somebody in the shower. Beside the door, you will have your coat, coat rack, so you can hang your coat or bags at the door. You'll have your light switches for all your lights. Beside here, behind here, just move this out of the way. This is your intercom. Now, we're very security conscious at the Comb Works. So when friends come and they buzz you, you can speak to them by pressing this button here, but you will not be able to let them in. You have to leave your studio, remembering to take your fob, to go down to let them in. But obviously at the moment, we have a no visitor policy in place at the moment. So that's your intercom. If somebody's to knock at your door, you do have a peephole. So you can look through there to see who is at the door. There we go. So you can see that. Um, one thing I do apologise, I forgot to show you, is you do have a bedside light at your beside your at your bed, and you also have dimmer switches so you can turn your lights on and off or dim them down, whatever you like to do you want to do whilst you're in bed. So you don't have to worry about switching off your lights. So you can just stay in bed and you can switch them off from the comfort of your own bed. Which is, I think, great. There we go. Um, so that is our silver studio. There is a fire blanket in all the studios. These get tested every year. These get, so we just ask that you give the engineer access to the studio so he can inspect. There we go. I hope you enjoyed our homework studio. I will take you out into the main area and I will show you our housekeeping cupboard that is on all the floors as well. Just switch off the lights. When you leave the studio, and if you've forgotten your key, as you can see, the door doesn't open. So it's very safe, very safe. So this is our corridor here. And then down here, there is a housekeeping cupboard. There is a hoover, you have a mop and bucket and a dustpan and a brush. These are free to use, we just ask that the students return them once they're finished. These get cleaned out once a month by our cleaners. And this is the main corridor here. So as you can see, it's a very large corridor. I believe the Wi-Fi speed's very good. It's all done by Ask4. We've never had any issues with the Wi-Fi. And there you go, there is the lift for, for studio for floor two. Also we do have other silvers and other floors as well. But they are arranged in the same way here at the moment. There we go. And then we'll talk about the next floors. go. Now I'll just take you back down the stairs. Excuse me if this is a little bit wobbly. I'll take you outside and I show you where our bin room is. This is where we will put all our waste. And also this would be the way you would come in the event of a fire.
down to the ground floor. Now this door here. Now, when you come out into this corridor here, there is also two vending machines where you can purchase snacks. Um, there's a drinks one and a snack one. If you have lots of luggage, we have a trolley that you can borrow um, to take your luggage with you. And now I'll just take you outside and show you where the bin room is. That's the view down to the common room from the reception desk. So it's quite a large area. We have lots of events here and we're happy to host anything new that the students may like. There we go. Just take you outside, back into the sunshine for me. This is the ramp there to take you down. Hopefully you can still see with the sun shining. So just down this ramp here, there's a small building here. It does have a little person with a like bin picture. So this is where you would put your bin. It's all fob controlled, so you would need your fob for this. So we'll just do that. Just open it. Not a very exciting room, but has to be shown. So we have our black bins for general waste, blue bins for recycling. We've kept the bins open purely for to keep it made afar. Um, and then we, this is where you would put your food waste. The um, we are 20 minutes walk to Aberdeen University. I'll just close that because we don't want to stay in there too much longer. There is also, if you do have your bike, and if you go down that way, that'll take you to the main town, which is Union Street and also to the shopping centre at uh, Bon Accord. So I'll just take you back in. There we go. It's the intercom where people would buzz your room with a little bell and then you can answer them. Let's take you back in here and we're back into the Comworks. I do hope you've enjoyed seeing the co-works. I'm proud of this award and it was all thanks to our students that completed the survey that helped us get to this, which, you know, we would have loved to have kept the title, but unfortunately the National Student Housing Awards are not running. So we'll just have to know that we were last year and we'll forget this year and we'll try again for next year. Um, we have some, some, some sweets there that the students can help themselves to there is no charge for double occupancy. The price for the studio is the price you would pay for double occupancy. We just asked for you to let us know who that person is. We would send you a form for you to fill out and then we'd add that person onto your booking for you, but no charge. There you go. And I'll just show you our award again because we're very, very proud.
very proud. There is hand sanitizer all over the comb works. There will be more dispensers up at each on each floor, outside each lift, that we ask all students to use. Masks as well. And just turn the screen round. There we go. So hi, back to me. Sorry, it's not as it's uh, as nice as the, the studios, but um, the double occupancy studios are normally done in the gold, platinum and platinum plus. We can, however, allow double occupancy in the silver. So, but as you see, the, the rooms can be, they're quite, um, they're a good size. So if you've got any questions, feel free to ask away. There's no pets allowed in the building. However, I do have um, a dog. His name is Alfie and he is the Comeworks Com Cocker Spaniel and he comes in with me every day when I'm in the building. So he can be petted, walked if, if you want. He's very friendly, very hyper, um, but you are not allowed pets in your own studios. Yes, there is. There's the Bon Accord Centre, which is 10 minute walk. Yes, there is a bicycle shed. It is in the courtyard. You can control the temperature in your room, yes, by turning your thermostat at the side of your radiator up or down. We control the times it goes on and off. We don't have bicycles to rent or borrow you would have to take your own one or buy your own one. There is a maintenance team. It's not available 24 hours, but he is available on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And you can report maintenance to us and he can go and fix anything within your room. As long as you are not in your room, he will fix that. He will leave a card to let you know that the item has been fixed or if items need to be ordered. But he will do his utmost to make sure that it's fixed. Unfortunately, I do not have any Platinum Plus rooms available. You can secure the room for 250. That is the deposit payment and that secures the room. No, no extra charge for double occupancy. You're welcome.
Thank you everyone for joining. It's lovely to chat to you today and to answer all your questions. If you do have any further questions, please contact Christian at U Homes and I'm sure that she'll be able to help you or she can pass your question on to myself. Yes, there is a supermarket close by. There's the co-op across the, the, the road and there's also a Lidl just, just at the bottom of the road, just to the left. You can also order online from Asda, Sainsbury's. There's also a Chinese market um, and shop just at the other side of the road, which we use as well when we're doing any, if we're doing Chinese New Year, we purchase things from there. Very good. If you do also, just one note, if you do refer a friend to come and stay with you, you do get um, a £100 voucher each. If something is damaged, and it, the sooner we know about it, the sooner our staff can go and check it out. If it is being damaged by yourself, then you would have to pay for that or we can deduct it from your deposit at the end of your stay. Does anyone have any further questions that they would like to ask? Okay, well I will all leave you um, now. I hope you have a lovely day. And thank you for joining myself at the Comeworks on this live chat and this live stream. Oh, how far from here to it is a 10 minute walk to the city centre. So not far, not far at all. And it's about 20 minutes to the beach if you want to go to the beach. Bye everyone, have a lovely day.